Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you today with a thrift haul video from Goodwill. And it was a Senior Tuesday Goodwill thrift haul, which you all know I usually don't go there on any other day but Senior Tuesday because it can be very, very pricey. So, guys, on this trip, I really found some fantastic items. One of the items was one of those moments where you look on the shelf and you go, <gasps> yes, yes, indeed. So I will be showing you that item, but you're going to have to wait till the end of the video. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I, I really did get some fantastic things today. Um, I spent $73, um, and it's not bad at all for what I got. So, uh, let me see. I don't even know. I think, I want to say it was yellow tags were half off, and I don't think I got anything with a yellow tag. So, um, yeah. But just keep in mind that um, the $73 is with my... 25% off already. Um, I saved $21.42 with my discount. So, without further ado, let's get into this haul. All right. I did buy this gorgeous vase. It is Ballyporine Bally uh, Fine Bone China Ireland. I thought it was going to be Balik, but it, I've never heard of this, but look how beautiful. Isn't this a beautiful little bud vase? I love all the detailing on it, and it's in perfect condition. A little bit of gold detailing there. No chips, no flea bites, no crazing. That is a beautiful little vase. So, I got that. I also got this little guy. <laughs> yep, he is a sponge holder or a scrubby holder or whatever, SOS pad. You can put anything you want in his wide mouth. <laughs> uh, he's in perfect condition. He has no issues at all. So I definitely had to pick him up just because he's so cute. Okay, um, I got this set of salt and pepper shakers. Um, they are Christmas, and they are just adorable. I love different um, and unique items, and I thought these were really, look at this. Aren't those adorable? Who doesn't love gingerbread men and gingerbread ladies? How cute are those? And they are in perfect condition. They have not a thing wrong with them. So we got those. I saw this and I don't normally buy these, but this was hand painted and signed by the artist. And she obviously, I'm assuming she's from around, you know, my area. Look at this mask. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my word. Hand-painted by Alicia. Um, I can put a piece of uh, ribbon through here. So it can be hung. I can put a piece of black ribbon or a beautiful piece of teal ribbon. Um, but yeah, I'm like, wow, that is, that is gorgeous. So I had to get this. This is, she's a, she's a, an artist for sure. That's just amazing. I love it. Absolutely love that. Ah, Okay. So this next item, I chuckled out loud in the middle of the aisle and 
you know I love mugs, okay? And this is made by, uh, it says Queens, and it says The Good Life. Microwave and dishwasher safe. Good morning. Let the stress begin. <laughs> is that not awesome or what? <laughs> I love it. Love that. <laughs> oh, dear. That was good. That was a good one. Okay. I did find these vintage wall hangings. These are really cool. Look at these, you guys. Aren't these awesome? Oh, my word. They are so cool. I love them. I don't have any more wall space, though. <laughs> so, I don't know. If they don't sell, I'm going to have to find some place to put them. But they are amazing. Got the little hangers on the back. They are, oh, wait, there's a, there's a maker's thing on here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the heck does that say? England. Tell. Hang on. I mean, this one's better. Tell Peck? Er. No. S L P S O? I don't know. They're from England. <laughs> Yeah, so those are pretty awesome. I love those. I got these. These are so stinking cool. Let me get the rest of this sticker off of here. Or most of it anyway. Um, there was a, a set of two, but of course they priced them separately because... Now this one has a couple chips, which I don't care about because I will just I will just touch those up. So we have this one, which is awesome. Um, I might give these to my son to see if he wants to hang them in his room. Um, if not, I'm gonna sell them um, because they're amazing. Um, made in the USA, and it says. BBK, is it BBK? This one is different. This one, it doesn't have any markings on the back. And this one doesn't have any chips or anything. Um, and no crazing. This one has a lot of crazing. This one is definitely older. You can just tell by the look of it. But as you can see, we got a little chip here. And then there's one here. So I thought those were pretty cool. I really like, I really like these. Um, and then I don't know why I got this, but I know that there are quite a few of you out there that live in Maine. I've always wanted to visit Maine. Hopefully one day I will get there. Um, but I got this beautiful tray it's in like perfect condition. It looks like brand new, except for on the back here. Hang on, let me get the rest of this sticker off. There is just a, um, there's a mark going across the back. I don't know what from. Could have been just when they made it. Like it looks like overspray or something. But yeah, that's a beautiful tray. And it's like I said, it's in like mint condition basically. So I did pick that up and, uh, all right, let me, I got bells. Let me just slide some of these over here and then I can move the tray and these fish platters. God, that aggravates me when I don't get all the sticker off. All right, so I will set that over there and then slide that. There we go. Um, I found some vintage golden books. 
These are all Christmas. We have Santa's Surprise Book. And I don't have this one. Um, I may keep this one. Um, it says Adam and Jenny on the inside. But it is dated... Um, this is the 11th printing. It's 1981. I thought it was 1966. But this is 1981. And that's the only place there's any writing. Uh, the whole rest of the book is in fantastic condition. So, and then we have Frosty. And this one has is in perfect condition. This one, the copyright is 1950. 1950. I can't believe it's in that great of shape for 1950. I mean, look at the inside. It's perfect. So I already have Frosty and I already have Rudolph. Of course, somebody had a sticker on here, probably from the store. Um, you probably could get that off maybe with um, a blow dryer. You know, heat up the glue and you might be able to peel it off. This one is from 1958. Um, new illustrations, copyright 1976. So I don't know which is which, but I mean, this is in, this is in really great condition. So I don't know. But anyways, I got those three books. Then I got this bag of goodies. And let's see what's in here. Oh, again, we have it taped closed. So I'm going to have to get some scissors now. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back. Let's see what's in here. So we got some really cute... Um, Halloween ribbon. They're both the same. They got the they got a rubber band on there so it doesn't unwind. So there's two of those. That's great. There is this little um I don't know what that was all about, but this little plastic pumpkin bucket. And you know, a lot of times people will use the ribbon as a riser. Then there was this little pumpkin in here. This is really cute. Look at that little wooden pumpkin that stands up. That's cute. And then there are five of these little ghosts. Um, they're made by a company called Our Name is Mud. And it is L Lori Veezy. Lori VZ. And like I said, there's five of these little ghost um, figurines, which um, I'll probably be keeping because y'all know how much I love ghosts. So that's the reason I got the bag. <laughs> so there you have those. That was a good get. That was a good get. All right, let me set that over there. All right, let's show some bells. Son's home from work. Hello. All right, so I got this bell. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Got that one. This one is from the casino here in Niagara Falls where I live. But look how pretty that is. It's definitely crystal. It says Galaxy Irish Crystal. Galaxy Irish Crystal. And it says Casino Niagara. But you know what? You could turn it this way and you're not going to see that. I just thought it was very beautiful. I love it. 
So I picked that up. I didn't notice that till I brought it home. I'm like, oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, let me put those over here. Then I got these two bells. These are beautiful and spring is the theme. Look at these. With the butterflies. How pretty, right? This one's got a butterfly on the other side. This one does not, it's plain. But how cute are those? And I'm probably gonna sell them as a set. Those are too cute. So let me slide those on over there. All right. Then I found, you know, I don't, Avon really gets a bad rap, and I think Avon makes some really beautiful um, items. And one of my favorites is the Cape Cod line. And I grabbed these two um, beautiful cups. They're just gorgeous. They're in perfect condition, no cracks, no chips that I'm aware of. I did, you know, check them out, but that doesn't mean anything. You could check them out and check them out and then check them out some more and then get home and get in front of the camera and you're like, oh man, you know? But so far, they're in good condition. <laughs> and they also came with this beautiful trinket dish. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. So pretty, love it. So I got that. I also found another party light item. Look, this is gorgeous, guys. Like this is beautiful. Look at this. Right now I have fairy lights inside of it. Um, they're, the battery's running low on them, so they're not as bright, but would you look at this gingerbread house? Oh my goodness. Look at that. What a gorgeous piece. Oh my word. This is amazing. So I was very happy to find this. That is amazing. Party light, I'll tell you, they got some gorgeous merchandise. Um, I found another Home Co. Cubist fairy lamp. Um, I was finding them, it seemed like every week or thereabouts, and I had finally sold my last one um, about a month ago and I found another one. And I do love the Cubist Fairy Lamps. I really, really do. Um, I, I never keep one for myself. I always sell them. So if this one doesn't sell, I'll probably end up keeping it. But yeah, this really throws off a beautiful glow. Um, actually, let me take the fairy lights out of here and I'll put them inside of here for you guys. But it's still not the same as, you know, uh, when you put an actual candle in here. You're going to be seen in the video walking down the hall, but that's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let me show you how pretty... Look how pretty. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. So there is that. And then I also found another, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I have one of these myself and I've already sold two of them, I believe. Choking. Um, I got this absolutely gorgeous Wexford candy dish. This is in perfect condition, guys. Perfect condition. It is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. 
See, look at that. Clear glass, guys. Yes. Bringing it back. Bringing it back. And you know what? You could put the fairy lights inside of here. You could put different colored fairy lights in here. Candy. Anything with, um, if you wanted to add color within, you could put anything inside of it. Gorgeous. Um, oh my gosh. Where do you see these? Oh my word. These were way in the back on the shelf. And I said, oh my goodness, look at those. Perfect condition. Perfect. This is... Uh, Fraunfelter, Fraunfelter China, and I'm telling you, these are gorgeous. So you have the periwinkle blue, and then this is, this is like a very pale, pale, creamy yellow color, and then it's got the luster finish. Oh, this is a gorgeous set. Oh, gorgeous. Uh, this is amazing as well. Holy moly. Would you look at this beautiful piece of art glass? Purple, white, and green cased glass. It is just gorgeous and in perfect condition. Perfect condition. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my God. I snatched this off the shelf. I sure did. I sure did. This is well. Now, when I saw this piece, I thought of two people right off the get-go. Debbie Vitale and Cheryl Hoskins. Is that not stunning? So shabby, chic, and gorgeous. No cracks, no chips no crazing. And you know what? Very minuscule paint loss. Oh, wait a minute. I spoke too soon. We do got a little chipper right on the spout. Dang it. That's okay. I will touch that up. I will touch that up. Darn. Oh, well. We all can't have 2020 vision. <laughs> I definitely don't, obviously. Okay. I got this brand new big boggle game. Brand new, still in the shrink wrap. So, this is a fun game. We used to play it with the residents at the nursing home. Then I got these, um, look at these guys. Look how cute. Oh, we got a string hanging. Got to knot that and cut that. Look at, we even got the little baby. Look how cute those are. Oh my goodness. Those are adorable. Just to sit on a chair, you know, a, a rocking chair, on a couch, on a bed. They're just adorable. How stinking cute. Oh my word. Then I found this. Look how cute. Oh my God. Now look how cute he is. Look at that Pooh Bear. He is so, so cute. I love him. Got a pocket with Velcro. 
This is the other side. Here's the inside. It had a sticker on the bottom. I gotta finish getting that out. But this is so awesome. Um, it was it's from the Disney um, Disney store, and it's got a zipper, um, a big zipper pocket on the inside, and it's just awesome. So I had to pick that up. He's just so cute. I just love him. <laughs> So I got that. All right. The last item that made me gasp is a set of five of these Atomic Amoeba glasses. Mid-century modern at its finest. I could not believe it. Now, when I looked these up, all the ones I saw also had gold designs along with just the turquoise. These have no gold designs on them. And it's, I don't believe that it's um, from the paint coming off because they wouldn't all be completely clean of the gold paint. Because they're all, they, they're all exactly perfectly clean and just the turquoise paint. So that leads me to believe that these only came like this without the other gold um, designs on them. And they're all in perfect condition. Like, the paint is fantastic on them. Um, so, like I said, I almost had a cow when I saw these on the shelf. So, it was a very good day at the Goodwill as far as merchandise. Let me just say, I was ecstatic with my shopping trip that day. Not only did I find these, but I found this gorgeous set, that amazing purple art glass vase, this awesome, awesome party light piece. Oh my gosh, it was a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> so guys, if you can, let me know in the comment section what your favorite item was from this haul video. Um, of course, you know I'm gonna say these are my favorite. They are my favorite from this haul video. Um, so guys, <laughs> that's gonna do it for this thrift haul video. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.